gang. Day two of piston cleaning. So we got these ones done. That one needs to be ground. The ring lines are cleaner. I still want to blow them out with some compressed air, so I think we're going to do that. Then today we're basically just finishing up cleaning these. So basically I ordered the house stem seals to ring from the main bearings. They haven't come in yet. So until those come in, all we can do is clean pistons for now. <laughs> They're getting there. That's a clean one. Can you tell which one I did? Yep. I'll say that one. Nope. I yep. did this one. You know I did the, the how uh, I know? Before Brett came over here, it was like there's a coating on it. I wanted yeah. to make sure, so I left some gunk on there. Yeah. You know. You think? I don't think. Really I don't think the coating came off on this. I don't think it's. I don't think. I don't think yeah. So. I hope it's tough enough. We're only using the Scotch Brite pad, so it's not like it's super be, terrible. I think it's gonna be fine. Yeah. yeah. Let's roll it over to that table. Looks good, looks good. That looks good. Oh yeah. That looks good. There's just so much little tiny like oil buildup. Just like yeah. wet gunk in there. It's just disgusting. Just look at that cheddar everywhere. All that buildup. I think if you want to go grab some like paper towels, you could like maybe get like a corner in there, you know what I mean? Because at this point I'm just blowing oil around it and there's still some in there, you know what I mean? pretty clean, but there's still going to be some stuff in there that we're not going to be able to get out. So we're just getting them like as clean as we can. They're a lot better than they were, that's for sure. So that's one of the old oil control rings. I'm just scraping stuff out. Uh, nasty. Straight up nasty. It's all oil build up. <laughs> That's the last piston cleaning it. That is it. I love it when you take my juices out of me. Gang gang bro. Done bro. Insert thumbs and asses and just yes. stand around until parts come in. Yeah we do. <laughs> Hopefully they're coming. Hopefully. Hopefully. It's a drift car, bro. Ready? Alright, so we got all of our pistons cleaned and basically just got all the gunk out of the ringlands and just cleaned up the faces. So at this point, there's really nothing more we can do until we get some parts. As soon as we get the parts, we gap the rings and just start putting it all back together. But we're basically as far as we can get without, without the new components. So hopefully they come in. Sometime this week, hopefully before Monday class would be nice, and then we can start capping the rings. But if they don't come in before Monday, we're just gonna be it's gonna be sticking our thumbs up our asses and looking at our uh, looking at our stuff. It's just not even come to Boston. Yeah, we, I don't know. We'll see. Lab. Sit out the front door and just wait for the UPS man. Like, yeah. Just be there for the uh, for roll and then dip after he takes roll. When we, when we go on break, just leave. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Keep it fresh, and I will see you guys later. Maybe you should say